Hey my friends, it is Taco Tuesday. We're about to have some more fun and read a really fun story. And the story is The Gingerbread Man. I remember this story from a long time ago. Oh my goodness. How many of you have heard this story before? It's so much fun. Hey you guys, did you tell yourself that you're the greatest today? Come on, let's do it. Let's say it together. I am the greatest. Don't just tell yourself. You tell everybody you come across. Tell them that you're the greatest. Because you are. You ready? Come on, let's go. The Gingerbread Man. Once upon a time, a little old woman and a little old man lived by themselves in a little old cottage. One day, the little old woman decided to bake a treat for the little old man. They can have some of our treats, guys. Sure they can, because we share at the popcorn kit. I'll make him a special gingerbread man, she thought. She mixed all the ingredients together and rolled out the dough and cut out the gingerbread man. And then he popped him into the oven to bake. Soon a delicious smell filled the little old cottage. Mm. The little old woman was just putting on her oven gloves to check her baking when she heard a strange voice calling out, let me out. I finished baking and it's hot in here. The little old woman looked around. She was so confused. I must be hearing voices, she chuckled to herself. She opened the oven door and nearly fell down in surprise when the little gingerbread man jumped up and off the baking sheet, rushed past her and ran out of the front door. Come back, cried the little old woman. You smell delicious and we want to eat you. But the gingerbread man was too fast for the little old woman. He ran into the garden and passed the little old man. Stop, cried the little old man, setting down his wheelbarrow. I want to eat you. But the little gingerbread man was already halfway down the road outside the little old cottage. He was very fast and the little old woman and the little old man were very slow. Stop! Stop! They wheezed out of breath as they ran down the road. The gingerbread man darted under a fence into a field singing as he went. Uh-oh, you guys, you know I don't like singing. I'll do it for you, though. Ready? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. As the gingerbread man ran through the field, he passed a pig. Stop, snorted the pig. I want to eat you. I've run away from a little old woman and a little old man, and I can run away from you too, he said. As he ran even faster, followed by the little old woman, the little old man, and the pig. Soon, the little gingerbread man ran in and met a cow. You smell scrumptious, smooth the cow. Stop, little man, I want to eat you. But the gingerbread man just ran faster. I run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a pig, and I can run away from you, he cried. The cow started to run after the gingerbread man, but he sprinted past through 
the tall grass in the field singing, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. The little old woman, the little old man, the pig, and the cow ran, and none of them could catch a little gingerbread man. In the field, there was a horse. You look so yummy, neighed the horse. Stop, little man. I want to eat you. But the gingerbread man just ran faster. I have run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a pig, and a cow, and I can run away from you too, he cried. The horse started to gallop after the gingerbread man, but he was already halfway across the field. He turned and waved at the horse as he sang out. What are you saying, guys? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The little old woman, the little old man, the pig, the cow, and the horse ran and ran, but none of them could catch the little gingerbread man. He must be really fast. Right, guys? The little gingerbread man squeezed through a hedge and ran on faster and faster along a path through a shady wood. He grinned, feeling very happy with himself and rather proud how fast he could run. No one can catch me, he giggled, but just a little farther on down the woodland path, the gingerbread man came to an abrupt stop. There before him flowed a wide river, completely blocking his way. While the little gingerbread man was wondering how he was going to get across the river, a sly old fox came up to him. Hello, little man, said the fox, licking his lips. You look like you could get some help. Oh, yes, cried the gingerbread man. I do need some help. I've run away from a little old woman, a little old man, a pig, a cow, and a horse. And I need to get across this river so that I can keep on running. And I can't swim. Well, jump on my back and I'll carry you across the river, grinned the sly old fox. You will be safe and dry. Would you do it, guys? Oh my gosh. So the little gingerbread man climbed onto the fox's tail and the fox began to swim across the river. After a while, the fox said, you're too heavy for my tail. Why don't you jump onto my back? The little gingerbread man ran lightly down to the fox's tail and jumped onto his back, clinging tightly onto his fur. Soon the fox said, you're too heavy for my back. Jump onto my nose. The little gingerbread man did as he was told and jumped onto the fox's nose. You know what scary happened, guys? The little gingerbread man did as he was told and at last they reached the other side of the river. The gingerbread man was just about to jump to the ground when the hungry fox threw his head back and the gingerbread man suddenly found himself tossed high in the air. Then down fell the gingerbread man and snap went 
the mouth of the sly old fox. And that was the end of the little gingerbread man. The end. Well, they said that he smelled good and everybody wanted to eat him. So I guess the fox got to do what everybody else wanted to do. Guess you'll have to make some more, right, guys? Did you enjoy this story? I hope you did. Miss V enjoys sharing stories with you. I also enjoy sharing hugs, kisses, peace, and love. See you soon, guys.